Hey, it's Jacob Blake back again with another video. Um, so, um, for today's video, um, it's gonna be kind of an interesting video because, uh, today I decided to show my bootleg DVD collection. Now, if you don't, if you don't know what, like, bootleg DVDs are, basically they're, like, um, like, DVDs and, uh, Blu-rays and stuff that, like, um, aren't made by, like, official, like, companies or anything, um, usually made by, like, um, like, fans of something, like, like, fa a fan-made kind of thing, um, or they're usually made by, like, just one person instead of, like, a whole company, um, but technically bootleg DVDs and stuff are kind of illegal, but it's only illegal to, like, sell bootlegs, I don't think there's any sort of law about buying bootlegs, um, at least I don't think so, um, but even with uh, the whole law about, like, selling bootleg stuff, it's not, it's not a law that's, like, really, like, enforced, because, I mean, like, the, the police and, like, the law enforcement people have, I think, like, have a lot more important stuff to worry about than, like, bootleg DVDs, like, that's not really the, the most concerning thing, but, um, yeah, that's gonna be a pretty short video because I don't really have that much to show because almost all of the DVDs and stuff that I have are official, I just have a couple of things that are, like, bootlegs, so this first thing is, um, I found this on eBay, this is, um, Fetch's Refreshment Season 1 bootleg DVDs, uh, <coughs> um, Sorry about that cough. Um, but, uh, like one time a little while back, not too terribly long ago, but a little while back, one time I was, um, I was looking up like Fetcher Thor Ruffman DVDs, and I ran like kind of listing on eBay of Fetcher Thor Ruffman season one DVDs, and it was like $18, but with like four or five dollars shipping, and then like, then like one or two dollars tax, which may it come to like twenty three or twenty four dollars. Um but I did see in the description of the listing on the eBay it said uh the person put like uh, I couldn't wait for the like fetch store fetch store DVDs to be made so I made my own and I didn't really pay much attention to that. Um I mean like I kinda knew in the back of my head it was a bootleg thing but like wasn't really paying attention to that part. I was just excited that I found um, fetch the for having DVDs, um, and I didn't tell my, my parents that I had suspicions that was a bootleg thing, um, I just kind of kept that a secret until after I got it, and it, this, this is probably the worst, or not the worst, this is probably, the, like, the weirdest, uh, like, package I've ever gotten, because, like, these discs weren't even in, like, a case when, when I got them, they were, like, in, like, a plastic bag, like a Ziploc bag kind of thing with like a little note. It was really weird. Um, and apparently the person that was selling these on eBay, um, apparently the person that was selling these made these for like autistic kids to watch or something. And I thought that was pretty cool because I'm autistic but I'm not a kid obviously, I'm 20. But yeah. <coughs> Anyways. Um, so, yeah, so, the person that, that sold these, or, like, I guess, like, wrote on these, I think they are just, like, um, like, uh, well, they were originally, like, blank discs until the person put, st put, like, the episode to fetch on them, and then the person wrote on each one of these, so they just says fetch season one, disc one, fetch season one, disc two, Season 1, Disc 3, Disc 4, and Disc 5 as well. Now let's pull out this disc so you can see like what, what one of the discs looks like, like entirely. Um, yeah, that's that. Um, so, yeah, that, I mean, mo most likely there's not going to be any like official Fetch Store Prep and DVDs ever made, if I had to guess. So, so if I have to, um, so if I have to get bootleg 
DVDs I fetch direct from Freshman, and so be it. I don't really care. That's the only way I can get DVDs I fetch from Freshman, and that's fine. Um, this is only season one, obviously. Um, none of the other seasons are really available on, um, like from that seller on eBay. Which I looked recently, and there was a listing from that same seller for like season five of Fetch for Freshman. There was five seasons in total. Um, but I don't really like season five as much at all. So I don't think I'm going to get that. Anyways. Um, next up, this was uh, another thing from eBay. This is a Pixar movie collection. And, um, well, funny, a little of interesting stories how I got this. Um, I remember I'd found like an eBay gift card in my brother's bedroom when he still lived here. He's moved out to like his apartment with my sister and her boyfriend. But um, when my brother still lived here, uh, I, I remember finding an eBay gift card in his bedroom and he said I could use it. But then, um, so I found this on eBay and I wanted to use that eBay gift card I found in my brother's bedroom to buy this. But then, like, I couldn't find like a code on the gift card or anything. Um, and then later my brother, like, texted me or something, and he realized that, like, he actually used the gift card, the eBay gift card before, uh, I think for, like, something with his computer or something, like, a new keyboard or something. <coughs> um, I don't 100% remember, but, yeah. Um, and then he later just bought this for me off of, uh, eBay, because he knew I really wanted it, I told him about it and stuff. Um, at first I thought maybe this was like an official DVD, then after I got it, I kind of realized uh, it was uh, a bootleg thing because, well, the first sign of it being a bootleg is that this is, this is not the actual, like, official Pixar logo. Um, like, if you look at Pixar, like, the, if you look at, like, the Pixar logo, this is not what, it, what the Pixar logo actually looks like. I think the person that made this DVD just made it. <coughs> stupid cough. Um, I think the person that made this DVD just, like, made up this logo here that says, so I guess that this isn't the actual Pix official Pixar logo. Um, then, like, down here, that you can see, like, pictures, pictures of Pixar characters and stuff, and, um, like, some of them are, like, the actual characters from, like, movies and stuff, but others are, like, um, are, like, drawings of the or something, if you can see that. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways. But, uh, yeah, I, I suppose I could just have, like, the official DVDs or Blu-rays of, like, each individual movie, but this was just easier to get, like, every single Pixar movie in one slim package. Um, so this was every single Pixar movie from the oldest one, Toy Story, up until, uh, the most recent one on here is Onward. Um, there's been some, uh, like, Pixar movies released past Onward that aren't on here, like, uh, Turning Red, Luca, Soul, Lightyear, um, I think that's it. There are more Pixar movies coming out, like, the one, one like, biggest Pixar movie coming out next is Elemental. I don't know if you've heard about that, but, yeah, I haven't really watched any of, like, the most recent Pixar movies because they're just not as good at all as like the older stuff but yeah that's it um and also like another way you can tell this the bootleg is um and, like some of the work some of the like words and stuff there's like spelling mistakes like like up here you can see where it says monsters inc there's no space after the comma there um like if you put a comma if you put a space and then the next word um and then right here where it says Toy Story 3, the S in story isn't capitalized, it's lowercase. So, yeah. And then we have the actual case, basically the exact same as the slip cover. Um. Whoops. Oh, no. <laughs> this color thing fell out. Okay. Put it there. I guess it's not really in there, guys. Okay, there we go. Um, there's actually another spelling mistake on this disc here, disc 3, where it says Finding Nemo. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it says Finding Nemo, like they accidentally add an extra G. Um, 
you can see that right there, it says Fing Bang Memo. It's kind of funny. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to read off each individual movie that's on like every disc, but I can pause the video and read what's on it every disc if you want to. There's uh, 11 discs in total with two movies on each disc. Yeah. <coughs> Stupid cough. Well, I think my nose is ringing a little bit. Um, you know what, I'll, I'll just be right back. I think I might go like my nose real quick. Sorry about that, I'm back. Um, just had to go up my nose, like I said, I realized my nose is running. Um, <coughs> um, okay, um, so, anyways, continuing on here, here are the rest of the discs here. weird is on like the the slip cover and the case and stuff um like if you see finding nemo on both the case and the slip cover finding nemo is actually spelled correctly but then on the disc finding nemo is spelled wrong which is weird um and i believe the same um the same person that made this also made like a a little dreamworks movie collection and like a a Marvel movie collection, and, um, like, I think this person has just made a bunch of, like, little bootleg movie collections like this, um, but, yeah, speaking of Dreamers, they do actually have a Dreamers movie collection, but it's an official thing, not a bootleg, it's, like, a big Dreamers 42 movie collection with every single Dreamers movie, and then it's, they're all, like, Blu-rays and stuff, I've done a video about that Dreamers 42 movie collection before, if you want to go look for that, anyways, I have one last one here, and, um, this one isn't from eBay, like the first two were the Fetch Swift Ruffman Season 1 DVDs in the Pixar Movie Collection. Like, the, those two were from eBay, but this last one is not from eBay. This one I actually randomly found at a Goodwill thrift store. And this is a bootleg, like, Disney Movie Collection. Kind of similar to the Pixar Movie Collection, except this just has regular Disney movies and then not Pixar movies. It actually does have one Pixar movie in it, but it's mainly just regular Disney movies. Uh, it says Walt Disney Classic Special Edition. Um, I couldn't find this, like, anywhere online or anything. Um, but recently I've seen, like, i seen, like, on, like, eBay or something, I've seen, like, it's called, like, the, uh, Complete, like, Walt Disney Classics Collection or something like that. With, like, I think it's, like, um, like, eight or nine or ten of these little things. Um, but you can just tell this is a boot, like, because... The packaging is just kind of shoddy, and, like, for example, the picture on the front here is kind of blurry, and what's funny is that, like, Aladdin is basically all over this, but Aladdin isn't one of the movies included in here. Um, so, yeah, it has a list of movies on the back here, and you can tell that, it's, that there's, like, a series of these, of, like, the movie things, because there's a four on the side here, it's just the fourth one in, like, a series of these. Um, but it almost ends up like this, and, yeah, it's like this, um, it's like a, like a little, uh, booklet of discs, if you will, um, so yeah, so, let's go through all the discs here, so the first one is a Goofy Movie, and you can just tell these discs are bootlegs because, um, like, if you look at the picture on this disc here, you can tell it's kind of blurry, and, like, you can see, like, the number of the disc right there. That wouldn't be, like, the, the, like, the 
where it says like the number the number disc it is on the bottom of that, or that wouldn't be on like the official like disc of that. But yeah, that's a goofy movie. Um, I was about to say, can I get that back in? Uh -huh. Okay, so next up we have Casper, Casper Friendly Ghost. At first, I thought this was like maybe the the live action Casper Friendly Ghost movie they made, but it's actually like little shorts of Casper the Friendly Ghost. Um, so yeah. Um, and the picture on this disc is kind of blurry too, if you can see that. I shouldn't try to take out every single one because it's kind of a little bit of a hassle trying to get them back in. But uh, there we go. Oops, okay. Um, the next one is The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Or no, Notre Dame, I think it's, is how it's pronounced. And again, it's kind of like a trend with all these discs. The pictures are blurry on all these discs. Or I think at least most of these discs. Um, but yeah, that's that. The next page here we have James and the Giant Peach right there. I've heard a lot about James and the Giant Peach, but never watched it. And then this one, I have no idea what it is. The White Swans. I don't really know what that is. I think that's some sort of movie in another language or something. Or like made in another country or something. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, and this next one here is Everybody Loves Donald. I think it's just like a series of little shorts that have Donald Duck in them or something. So yeah, that's that. And then uh, this next one is Homeward Bound Two, Lost in San Francisco. <coughs> um, I've heard about Homeward Bound, but I never watched it. Um, and this one was Hercules, but just like how, how there was a couple of, uh, grammar mistakes with the Pixar movie collection, there's a little mistake here, another, another way you can tell this is a bootleg, on um, the, the disc for Hercules here, they forgot the S at the end, so it just says Hercules, um, oh, I think my nose is running again, um, it should be fine, I don't really want to get up again. Um, so then, uh, this next one here is, I think this is one of the, like, Beauty and the Beast direct-to-video sequels. Because Disney used to make a lot of direct-to-video sequels for their movies. Direct-to-video means that it goes, like, directly to DVD. It's not, it doesn't even go in, like, theaters or anything. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, and and on this next page here we have, uh, right here we have, uh, Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin. My favorite Pooh is classic, obviously. Um, and then, uh, this is one of the most classic Disney movies right here, at least in my opinion, Mulan. Who doesn't love Mulan? Um, and then, um... We have another direct to video sequel, Pocahontas 2 Journey to a New World, right there. Um, now, this one, the, the picture on the disc isn't, act isn't actually really blurry. Uh, this is Beauty and the Beast Bell's Magical World. That's another direct to video sequel, actually, I believe. Um, and this is the one Pixar movie that I said was in here A Bug's Life, right there. Um, this is, this is another way you can tell this is a bootleg, like, on this disc, for example, the, this isn't the actual, like, logo for Bugs Life. Um, but, yeah, anyway, and then, this, I guess, slot, if you will, right here, is blank, there's no disc in this particular slot here, and then, there's one last one right here, which is Blind King to Simba's Pride, yet another direct video sequel, I believe. I think this has a good combo, a good, like, variety of movies, like, regular Disney movies, uh, direct video sequels, um, some lesser known movies, them on Pixar movies, and here, obviously, the Bugs Life, but yeah, that's that. Um, but yeah, I just randomly found this in a Goodwill store, a Goodwill thrift store, 
Um, and Goodwill doesn't really care, like, um, like, whether the, like, when Goodwill gets, like, DVDs or Blu-rays, you know, or whatever, they don't really care whether the, the discs are, like, scratched or not, or if the discs are, like, um, if the discs are, like, bootleg discs, or anything, Goodwill doesn't even really pay attention to that stuff. Um, but, yeah. That's that. So that's all I had to show in this video. I thought I'd be able to get through this a lot faster, but it's already been 20 minutes. Um, but, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say, so, um, God, well, I don't know why I'm in all but, um, I don't have anything else to say, so if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And, of course, ring the bell so you can notify whenever I post any new videos. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll, of course, see you in the next video. Peace.